What's up, everyone? You hear that music bumping in the background? We got something new, something I've been excited for. We are checking out Moonlighter. Thank you, Humble Bundle Indie Cells and stuff. Yeah, we're picking up Moonlighter. The game that you are a shop owner by day and adventurer by night, which I guess makes sense if it's a small town and you're a small business owner. You gotta make ends meet. You gotta get your own items in to sell. But, yeah, like, just get into it. Uh, this is by FYI, because uh, I didn't have my information up, but I usually do. Way to go, Dust Bunny. You're failing. So much fail. This is by Digital Sun and 11-Bit Studios. Considered a adventure, roguelike, roguelike, pixel graphically indie, awesome adventure. And I think on Steam, wow, Steam is actually 20 bucks. Was this 20 bucks? I don't think it was 20 bucks. I think it was a little bit cheaper. On humble snails, snails, humble snails. Yeah, let's get into it. Um, controls are a little bit awkward for uh, non-gamepad users. I mean. At the beginning, it's like, gamepad's recommended, but keyboard's cool, too. And I was looking at the controls, and, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's, it's, it's a little bit awkward for us uh, keyboard users, but I, I don't know where my, uh, where my uh, gamepad went. I know where my Steam gamepad is, but that's a little bit tricky, because uh, I'm not a fan of the touchpad. But let's, let's get into this. New game slot. Actually, hold up one half second. This is unprofessional as heck, and I'm sorry. But... I'm trying to back up on how much coffee I intake, even though, trust me, I love my coffee. So, I got a little bit of tea here. Gotta shake it up, because I'll put it in a bottle, and it's separated. So, trust me, it's got that leaf. It's, it's, it's good. Let's just go. Alright, uh, we can do a new game plus. Now, it's on hard, and you can't change it once you go into the game, but hard's actually the recommended difficulty level of it. Yeah, there you go. Original difficulty level created by the developers recommended for most players are very hard. We're gonna do hard. It's recommended. Uh, if we come back later and do like a new game plus, if we can change it there, I would love to switch up to very hard. Let's let's go from here. Get used to the game. I don't know what's with all the slime. Makes me a little bit worried. Did I grab one that was already? Mm. All right. I can't, can't, can't say that was your best choice. We're um, out of sweeteners, so I used a little bit of maple syrup. Not a fan of maple syrup, either. Among the stars of the night, there is something. One night, mazes full of extraordinary treasures and deadly creatures appeared in this land. They call themselves, uh, they called them the dungeons, strange, ever-changing ruins of unknown lands. Soon, a village of the slightly curious took root near the dungeons. This is why they named it Rinoka. Among the settlers, two groups shine brightest. Heroes and merchants, glory and riches. But the dungeons proved too dangerous. They were soon closed as too many lives were lost in their depths. Life became hard for the town, especially for the young owner of the oldest shop, Will of Moonlighter. Long dreaming of opening the mysterious fifth door of the dungeons. J to continue. What? J to continue? Okay. So are we doing something that we're not supposed to be doing, by the by? D to move. Nice. Gotta roll. I can roll through stuff. Screw your little weird blocks. I, I, I guess these are tables, actually. I man, I'm just running straight through these tables. Let's go. Space to roll. Uh, roll also goes over jabs. I said gaps, I swear I said gaps. Right. Also go over enemies. 
or excuse me. Oh. I wanted to see what would happen if you just if you just ran into him, so go past enemies, important. You can roll through. So they're, what they're setting up is rolling is important, man. Now Jay lets us attack. We have a broom currently, which is uh I'm not gonna lie, I, I, I would have thought we started with a sword at least, but nope, we got the ever powerful broom. What do we get here? Some sort of item. We just gotta break all this stuff. I'm gonna break all this stuff and see if there's anything extra in here. I know it's a tutorial. I don't care. E to drink a potion, I guess. I'll E his potions up on the upper right hand corner. K to do a, like, dash attack? Charge attack. Nice. Okay. And then uh, when there's mobs, the chests are locked and the mobs are gone, you can open the chest. Root is a root for a giant plant, very useful in crafting new bows. Nice. L goes back. So this is on me. That's in my bag. Okay, so this is in the box itself. Foundry rests and a broken sword. Uh, can I just uh, move all? Yeah, there we go. This is going to be a little bit uh, tricky, I guess, with keyboard and mouse. We'll get used to the controls. Let's get anything else. Gotta use to it. Fabric and more foundry rest. So Z, quick move all. Let's go. Really surprised it doesn't use any mouse stuff. Ooh, hey, hey, ho, oh, oh, ho, oh, ho, hey, yo. They keep going, they keep going. Oh my gosh, what's going on here? Okay, I think we're just screwed. We can't, okay, okay, oh gosh. Too many things going on at the same time. Eat the potions, I'm out of potions, I'm out of potions, I'm out of potions. More and more things just coming out. Wow, how are you supposed to defeat that? I guess maybe you're not. That's you getting your butt kicked on purpose. Alright, I, I thought it was like, oh gosh, I'm really bad at this tutorial. What a sorry looking kid. All alone now. Rest for a bit, Will. I have you now. Not a nap. Even as a mere child, barely able to walk, you were curious of the dungeons. You. There's no doubt you carry the same obsession as old Pete. Morning, boy. Did our little merchant bite off more than he could manage? Will, listen to me. The hard truth is this. You are the last of your family. The only one left to run Moonlighter. You can't keep pushing yourself like this. Risking your life on this fifth door nonsense is foolish. Just leave it. Find some artifacts, then use your pendant to get out of the dungeon. And for Crater's sake, stop using that broom of yours, you daft boy. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. It's mine from back in the day. Use it. I have little need of it now. A sword and shield. But thanks. Now then, get up. 
You're wasting light. Can't have you neglect the shop all day. Let's see if I can get through your hard head some of the tricks that I picked up from your grandfather so many, many years ago. Are those my shoes? What is this right here? I thought those were my shoes. I was like, okay, I'm gonna whoop shoes. Let's go. Nope. All right. I like how there's a sign on my bedroom door that says shop. Successfully selling your merchandise takes knowledge of two things. You must know an item's value as well as its demand. Come on now, open the shop. Allow in the customers. All right. Bam. Oh, I gotta open the door. I guess that makes sense. How to open shop. People are here. Ah. Um, that's a uh, Daedric crystal. I swear. So, did you see that? Best expression you can hope for. The item wasn't too expensive for him and not so cheap as for you to lose profit. Be sure to pay attention to your customers' expressions. That's how your grandfather always knew if his prices were fair. That one's more expensive, it's the same thing, but you know, that was that was owned by Daedric Prince. I don't think I need to tell you how that item was obviously overpriced. Lesson learned? Finally, be careful of selling a popular item too much. If you flood the market, you'll have to offer cheaper prices on your wares. Point is, charge higher when something's in high demand and in low supply. Take out your merchant notebook. It should hold all the information you've gathered on discovered wares and artifacts. Crystallized energy. Decently popular, not crazy popular. Surging through a golem crystallizes upon its destruction. Could be harnessed this power somehow. Interesting. It would seem the sun has fallen for the day. I best head off. You'll pick up more on your own. Will we? Will we pick up more on our own? Did I all tab out by accident? Maybe. Controls are weird, man. Restoring this shop to its full glory? That's responsibility falls to you, not I. It's in your blood, Will. Make us proud. In the meantime, why don't you try out that new sword of yours? Dungeons are more perilous at night. One can always find better artifacts. Just don't dive too far. And use that pendant, boy! I guess the pendant lets us get out. Go on now, these weary bones of mine must rest. Diablo was the youngest of prime evils. You wanna talk to you? Am I supposed to be out this late? The people right now are accustomed to culture artifacts from the dungeons. Part of our daily lives, even a part of our food. Wait, you guys eat artifacts? Oh boy. Alright, we got a sword and a shield now. Okay, well, we only got one dungeon opened up Golem Dungeon. Dungeon available to merchants and heroes. And crazy people who want to go die in the dungeon. craziness oh yeah that is that looks so much better than a broom I still got a charge attack oh no I don't have a charge attack I got a block well cool. and I got a broom uh, let's go with the sword shield first that's right stab it stab it stab I got it. I'll look at some of the stuff later now the pendant I'm not sure how one uses the pendant. Can I have my inventory? Really? Ow. Oh, we got some metal. I can't open my inventory. I'm, I'm a little bit confuzzled on why I can't. Okay. You can only hit it at an angle. 
triangle. Because I have a power. Ooh, that is some serious knockback. Alright, well. To the left or top? Question. That's right. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm yelling at slime saying that's right, like... I'll take my wins where I can get them, okay? Oh, wait. Is that dude actually selling stuff? Oh no, that's just free. Oh, this looks like where someone died. Dude. Yeah, oh man. Another adventurer. To a person of hopefully far better luck than I, my time is short. I took injury from the strange creatures across the room. My pendant all but shattered from the scuffle. Check him out, though. I'd say I'd fare better than he. He caught me spying on him near the Guardian's room. He dropped a couple items when he fled. One of which is this. A map? A diagram? Whatever it is, I was right. They called me crazy. Said old Crazy Pete done gone lost his marbles. But I was right. Each Guardian of the dungeon must possess a key of sorts. All of them linked to that giant locked door outside the dungeons. The fifth door to Rhinoka. Sadly, I won't be around to see the door open. To whoever found me, I apologize for the smell. But the diagram should be around here somewhere. Please, open the fifth door. These dungeons are not what they seem. Big boss gonna kill me? I supposed to let them all out. Now I have to chase this weird creature that stole my stuffs. Uh, Big Boss can be upset with, upset with little me. Interesting. Yeah, that looks like a diagram. All the keys done do stuff. He also had some items. Yeah. So, hold L to get out. I guess items... Okay, no, don't use my pendant yet. Can I open my, my bag? I can. This pendant allows merchants to return from dungeons in exchange of gold. Oh, so it's currently at 200 gold. So we gotta make sure we got enough gold, man. Hmm. Huh. That's, uh, that's scary, so if you don't got enough gold and you go into a dungeon, you can't leave, buddy. You scrooged. Hey, Pete, you got any, got any more stuff over here? Maybe not. Alright. Wait. Do we just gotta leave? I don't wanna just leave. I guess we gotta leave. I guess I don't have a choice. Fine, I guess this is tutorial dungeon. Whoa. Escape with pendant. Kill 11. Go to town. Oh, that's convenient. It tosses me out right there. Ah, uh, the young proprietor of the Moonlighter has returned. You look intact. Finally learned to use that pendant properly. It's about time, boy. What are you holding? Is that a chart of the dungeons? Where did you get this? You, you found old Pete. <sighs> Dead. See, this is what happens when you chase what's behind that door. Leave it, Will. Just get the artifacts you need from the Golem Dungeon. Look after Moonlighter. Live your life, boy! Didn't say it, but let's be honest. Now, I noticed some posts on the town board that may interest you. Some shops want to move in. Attempt to revitalize this town. Apparently they need some startup capital first. It would be nice to see some life in Renoka. Nice indeed. We gotta build up the town, kill the monsters. Is this Stardew Valley? Kind of? Instead of, it's just all fight, 
no farm. Investments. Shop. Totally need a shop. Uh, shop allows merchants to decorate it to please their customers as well. We get up here in our chaperoo. 8,000 coins! Excuse me. Vulcan's Forge. Do you feel the dungeons are too hard? Tired of your old weapon? I can solve it if you bring me some money and materials. A forge to be reckoned with. Do we get enchantments? Uh, potions and enchantments? Oh, man, I don't have the money for this. Soon, man, soon. Broke has been seen better days. When you and Grandpa first opened Moonlighter, people from all over the lands would come visit the shop. The hustle and bustle was constant, but, but now, too much death. Okay, that's the town that's door, okay. So town is actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you now, I got you. Kinda like a, can I attack? Can I break some barrels? Oh gosh, I can, I, oh god, those are, I broke my own barrels! I'm not sure if my town, my, my town people are gonna enjoy this, but I'm like, oh, what are you doing? Um, uh, stuff. Renoko, what a town. Renoko may not be as prosperous as it used to be. I Many still visit to pick up a souvenir from the Golem Dungeon. Possibly even from the closed dungeons if you're lucky. See, so yeah, all these buildings seem like they're uh, pretty much just junk for now. This is Zelda, I can't roll into a tree. So wait, there's, there's dungeons over there too? Excuse me? There's more dungeons over here? Oh, wait. See, this is... Okay, I guess... I guess we're caught in some sort of warp. And the dungeons are every direction. Every direction. Right, well, we're, we're burning daylight, so, uh... Yeah, we need to, uh... Change the price on that sucker. We know what's cheaper than that. Um, yeah, 100. Do 100, man. Okay. I feel like I need to research. Yeah, yeah. There's golem before the golem, or the very hard of the golem. We have found ways to harness the energy, but are unable to recreate life from it. So, selling reactions about medium on that. Glass shaped in the lens with the sole purpose of focusing magical energy. Very useful in crafting and magical weapons. Crystallized rock. Beautiful crystal of many colors. I've heard rumors of it being used as a conductor with fantastic results. Interesting. Alright, well. Then let's, uh, let's try a couple things then. Let's, um... Oh, we got it and then we died, so we didn't get to keep it. A vine. Let's put down, uh... Golem core for. Let's do. 120. And then we'll try 110. See if we get different values of that. Iron bar. Ten stack of iron bar. Oh, oh, we can actually stack multiple and just in in. Uh, oh, that's the total. Total's a thousand. Uh, let's do nine ninety. I don't know if anyone's gonna actually buy that, but we'll see. All right, open the shop, bro. Hold to open shop. Let's go. Everybody buy your stuff. I need to kill monsters. Why are you wandering over there? It's a dead. It's not, there's nothing there, man. We like it? What? Oh. You're mad. That, that's way too expensive, I guess. Okay, you're happy. You're, you're very happy. Yeah, there you go. I don't know how much iron bars are for. I mean, that's 10 for 90 each. Yeah, I mean, 
everything else seems to be like 100, 120 ish. Oh. No good. Alright. Can I adjust the price on the fly? Alright, we'll adjust the price on the fry. On, on the fly. On the, adjust the price on the fly. fry. I'm gonna, I'm gonna drop this down way down. Way down. A little bit of money is better than no money. Oh, he's still. He's like, oh, whatever. He wasn't happy with it, though. Oh, can I place stuff? I think I can put stuff down while we're actually actively selling. Alright, um. I don't know how much this is sold. Like, 100 seems to be a good value for most things. Now, he said he wanted lower, because he didn't seem like he was that happy. So I must be real close to that, so we'll back off of that for now. Um, hardened steel? I mean, it sounds like it'd be off the, mo the tough mobs only, so let's do 200 each, see what people think. Oh, uh, what are these? Toothstone? See what people think of these. Give me some feedback, buddy. Okay, that, that's a definite no on that. Definite no on that, so, uh, get about a 50 50% off. Come back for your 50% off. One night only. Like seriously, old lady, buy something or get out. Oh, he's still mad. That, that must be not be worth much. I got a broken sword too, so. I'm gonna drop it down way low. At least we get a base. Not happy about it. Four hundred for those things that you guys took that instantly. All right. Do seem to be very popular at all. So five each. Just take it. Sell it. I don't care. Uh, rich jelly. I probably should be selling these at like one a pop to see a base. I'm gonna be getting a lot of these, so let's do 50 to start. What do you got? I, I, I got some metal. You don't like it? Okay, he wants that a little bit lower. I, I understand that. So, man, it is windy as AF outside. Right, sir, I lowered it. Oh, oh, that's exactly. I think that was a deal for him. Okay, I'll mayhaps have to increase that up a little bit. Mm. Do, 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 do. He did not like that. She did not like that part. It sounded like a very angry, like, err. So. Oh, yeah. 25? I finally found a cell for teeth thingies. Alright. So, one of the night. Looks like we made 1175. Popularity. Not too good. Alright, alright. Skip. Close. Don't open shop, it's night time, yo. But, um... So, selling reactions. Yeah, 
not not great actually. Well, these are like actual weapons and stuff. Eight thousand. What? Excuse me. Sure, I, 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 want, I need to look for Desert Forest Golem. So these are all the pieces, right? So, 200 was a wow! Strongest still I've ever come across. Perfect crafting new equipment. Alright, so. Haven't sold the fabric yet. Just got an idea for steel. 50 was a love on that. Hundreds of, like, yeah. So maybe I'll pop it up like. I want it to be sold instantly, that'd be great. That was a hundred, we can crank that up a little bit, crank that down a little bit. Thirty is like, mm. so, popularity is real low for that, but maybe we'll, we, we'll, we'll see. We, we need to do a little wider across the thing and, and see what we can come up with. J Reef, yep, still nothing I'm doing with that. All right, well, grab, Oh, this is just, I can just stash stuff. Yeah, quick move everything in there. I got my sword and stuff equipped. All right, let's go. This way to the dungeon of love. Tomorrow we got to invest in some stuff. I, I No questions asked. Cause I need to get some better equipment man and I don't think I'm gonna find better equipment just just chilling inside the dungeon that's not how these games work right I mean there's not strong creatures holding them yeah so map map don't show me jack you can't shoot sideways uh -huh. well that that's just like money, 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 money. See, this is what I this is what I like about these games. It's just like, hold up, what you over here? Why, why do our tools keep disappearing? Chambers full of precious stone are left untouched, but rooms and chests holding our most basic tools keep vanishing. Eh, eh, I guess that's not wrong. I feel like this is a heal station, and I'm not sure uh, how many times you get to use it. Probably once. Ooh, baby. So the, the, the creatures over here are very confused. They're like, why, why do they keep stealing our basic stuff, man? This doesn't make sense. Steal our good stuff. What do we got? Fabric. Our right, must be placed at the top or our bottom of our bag. It must be placed at the top or bottom of our bag. Interesting. So it's all right. Thanks, man. No, it's falling to the abyss. Where is that going? I'm, I'm gonna walk over here. I'm gonna heal back up real quick, and then. Well, actually, no. I'm not gonna heal back up. I'm gonna hold off. I'm gonna go visit some of these other rooms. I'm gonna go through the magic portal. I don't want. Oh my God, the slime got me. Slime, little, little slime, could you please? Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, please no. Yeah! Oh, please. Okay, look, we're gonna heal now. I didn't realize we were gonna get beat up that fast, holy moly. Oh, does it just stay there? Oh, hey, so having a pose, the 
room of healing is fantastic. Oh, another dead adventurer. That's all it is around here, full of dead adventurers. Are they important use? Today marks my first steps into these mysterious dungeons. They were discovered not far from Anoka, a small and incredibly charming village just north of the crater. And they're quite a uh, unique occurrence. Any number of adventurers may enter a dungeon at once, but no one will serve venture together. These dungeons seem to build themselves around the one entering. A unique maze for each person. Never the same labyrinth for twice. One might, I must ask though, if no one's currently inside the dungeon, does it even exist? Now these, uh, these are the questions. Many right now are flooding to these dungeons for their treasure, completely disregarding the inherent danger of the hostile creatures inside. Just for some gold and some fame. But not I, no, it's all about the questions for me. Where do these dungeons come from? Why do they constantly shift and change? And why are they filled with unseen treasures? I'm not here for the what. I'm here for the why the, and how. You, I like your, I like the cut of your jib, sir. You're probably dead now. You don't come to these dungeons just asking questions. You gotta be ready to fight them. For your right to not die. Alright, well, we're about to lose our healing area because we're about to actually venture forth through whatever the heck this is. Alright, later. Golem Dungeon 2. Alright, let's go. Ooh, I'm gonna chop it up. This is one of the strange devices that creature dropped me fled. This one's rich. This one's rich, actually. This one's rich, actually. Almost quite literally rich. For every item you place into this device, gold of some perceived value drops out. It's great if you need to use your pendant in a pinch. The device looks like a mirror, so... Am I just gonna call it the mirror? Keep it simple. I do wonder, though. Where do the treasures dropped inside go? And am I getting the best deal here? We got some mirror. Nice. Put stuff in, get money. Easy peasy. That's great because it costs money to warp. Uh, in fact, right now it costs 300 bucks to leave. So as long as we're willing to get some materials. Ouchie. You are a pain in the butt to hit, man. Ow. I wanna be... I wanna be lined up with you directly. Oh! I don't have any potions. Do I dare keep fighting you? Okay. I think we're gonna have to bail out of here already. Oh, he's got an item on him. seem dangerous once he's got an item. Interesting. Gold runes destroys one artifact curse the direction shown when placed. Artifact curse? Artifact remains hidden while currently in the dungeon. Oh, so there's gonna be a little bit of like tetris -y type thing. the hidden curse it does water lamp interesting it's just uh I can't take all so I can't stack them back together I kind of that's weird. That's weird. And I hate to say I gotta leave already, but... What if I walk into a room and it's a bad thing? Oh, sweet Christmas! I was getting ready to just hold L and just burst out of here, like, in a hurry if it was a bad thing, but... We, we lucked out, man. It feels as if we're fighting some invisible enemy. Every time a room is left empty of people, it seems to vanish. 
Replaced by another chamber that's already been rins ransacked. There you go, pick that up, sucker. You gonna shoot at me if I go this way? There you go. Yeah, you are. Look at you. Sideways and stuff. I hear you. Come on. No, 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 Roll away quickly. Swing and roll, swing and roll. Ooh, I don't know what those are, but my items are getting mighty full. My bag doesn't have much hold on it. You boy. Excuse me. Oh. I'm bad. Oh. I bet I have to either block it. I, I, I bet I gotta block that guy. There's gonna be some learning as I go to see how these enemies fight, which they seem to be more than just like basic, like, I'm gonna swing at you. Kind of battles. Right, my, my bag's really full because of those darn question marks, man. you unless you're stretched out. sword no broken sword why what we got see the quick move all I can't move all man so I'm gonna actually put you back in here can you stack that yes you can is there like a just, just stack hold grab stack move I need to like stack a few things well Maybe not so much. I can't stack because I took them apart, and I, I really shouldn't have, honestly. Um, one stick. I'm gonna move one stick away. So I can take that. Alright. That's good to me. Some stirf. Oh, more stirf. Come get over to me! Get in my pocket. Wait, I don't have room for you. Oh, I mean, I don't have room for you. Yeah, we're running out of room for things, which is beautiful, man. It's beautiful. Dare go to the next floor? I want to see the next floor. Let's go. Worst case scenario, I just get the TTFO out. But what is our. What are you? Oh, I could have done that. 
Oh, I didn't think about that. One more, one more item dropped by a strange jelly creature. This one is a little more straightforward than the mirror. Similar to our pendants, if given enough gold, we can afford with safety. But, and this is a big but, ha, the portal remains open after use. Meaning one may travel back to the very spot they departed from. Simply amazing, very convenient. For the time being, let's call it a catalyst. Quick tip, catalyst requires quite a bit more gold than pendants. Interesting. Oh my god, yeah, that is, uh... So that's if you're having an amazing run. And you want to go, like, stash it. Yeah. Like, maybe, like, you entered a room and got, like, a whole bunch of stuff right away. And you're like, you know what? I'm gonna head back in there, because I'm not ready to go. What the actual... Okay, he's got, like, three... Does that mean he has three items on him? No. Okay, he's dying over there, it looks like. Like you're gonna hurt real bad and probably kill me. So, ooh, you don't want to leave that chest. That's a gold chest. I don't think I've seen a. Ooh, uh. You have a lot of HP, sir. my deed stuff in here. Old Golem Minion Design. Ooh. Destroys one artifact in the direction shown upon returning to town. Oh my gosh. Golem Volume. One artifact in direction. Water lamp. I, I, I have a couple of water lamps. Artifact breaks if you receive too many hits. Yeah, I don't think things with curses can stack on other things. Destroys one artifact in direction. A rune tool. Alright, um... <laughs> okay. So... We already have a broken sword. We know these don't sell that well, so... Let's actually... Drop that down. Um... Get rid of this one, too. How much does it sell for? 42! Oh my gosh, then that was probably worth... This actually gives me an idea. If this is about approximate how much value, then maybe we can play with that later on and see about how much we can sell some of these things for based on that. Rich jelly. Sounds rich. Maybe I shouldn't get rid of it? Say, destroys an artifact in that direction, so... What if we put this here? No. Can we pick up three at a time? Excuse me? Oh no, I picked up the wrong dang thing. Ah, I'm, I'm, I'm caught, I'm just, yeah. I meant to pick the entire thing of this up. Drop it in there. Now I can't break anything. How do you like that game? And also, you want to break stuff below, but you can't put you at the bottom. Uh, you want to break anything uh, in that direction? Ugh. All right, all right. Well, I'm gonna get rid of one item. Full stack this and move it over here, and then pick up all three of these tomes. And drop them here. Now, I don't want to just leave all these here. Can I just get go? Wow, yeah. This was probably the, the better choice. If I'm out of room, just get... Oh my gosh, yeah. 
anything that's like un uh, veiled or whatever. Let's just drop it in for the cash and kashish. Is now is it worth more than the things that aren't veiled? Probably. Right, let's see how much uh, approximate value of a magic lamp is. Uh, water lamp, excuse me. Since we have three water lamps already there. 69, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm probably... Probably should just take the question mark items rather than anything else. But it's a learning process. This is how we go. Should I go another room? You know what? We got a full inventory. There's no real reason. So let's just get out. That's a lot of mobs, man. We did good work. For our... Like second official, or actually technically first official run. The first one that really let us go in as deep as we want to. Giggity. Okay, let's invest in town a little bit. Let's uh, pick up a forge. Yes. That's right, Vulcan Forge. You may thank your local dungeoneer and shopkeep, the Moonlighter. That's right. You're gonna give me a discount, right? Right? You better give me a discount then, man. Ah, you must be Will, no? The one who requested my forge? My name's Andre. Forge Master Extraordinaire. If it's weapons or armies you seek, Vulcan's Forge is the place. Yeah, we start getting... S oh, check that out. We need... We need giblets for things. We can upgrade our weapons. Check that out. Looks like we can just go down. Oh my gosh. That's expensive. Jeez. Okay, yeah, yeah we can start upgrading stuff. Yeah, that's awesome. Alright, cool. Let's go ahead and get uh, an enchant Triss as well. Root force getting you nowhere, try some potions and hand at the wooden hat. Trying to help the town out, man. You're right. Now go say hi, what up to her? What up, pretty lady? What you doing? Oh, a customer. My apologies. It's just this book. It's so good. But yes, I'm Eris Weaver and Potion Master. Come to the Wooden Hatch when you need a potion or an enchantment. What kind of enchantments are we talking about? You know, I, I, I guess I need to... Oh, I can actually increase their damage and, I guess, my movement with them? Ew, alrighty. Oh, I'll roll a seven increase. So I can make stuff even better. I like it. I don't know why she has a slime pit, but she does. Alright, what was this other dude that you can get over here? I probably can't afford it right now. No. Tired of looking for items in the dungeons? You give that job to others and come to the retailer. Well, you'll find the finest items and not rent them. So, because life's complicated enough. So, essentially this guy's going to find rare stuff and we can buy it from him in case we're probably looking for stuff for like crafting or whatever. Get a banker later, just to make your money work for you. Trust the money in my hands, so we can invest. And then uh, a hawker. As a hawker, I've traveled the world looking for techniques to create objects that can inspire people. Use my card to find objects that can make your shop look more interesting to visitors. So we actually get like, um, I guess, a decorations guy. Ha ha ha! The barrels be magical and come back every day. All right. Um, let's. Probably the wisest way to do this is to open our bank, essentially. That's not what I want to do. I want to move everything over here. Yes, yes, that's what I want. Everything survived? Yeah, everything survived. Let's see, white stone. Wish I had an appraiser. Pot. Yeah, some of these are things that I didn't see until I got out of here. 
wonder if uh, selling these for 100 a pop. Hmm. Let's see. I want to see how some of these do. The glass sold well for the last time. Hopefully it saves how much I sold it last and um, that way I can like quick sell it again. Powering crystal sounds pretty important too, but let's let's head out with this for now. Okay, if you weren't sold last night, you're getting majorly reduction. Popular is popularity is low as balls. Okay, so Quick play, Scotch, if that places it for you. Ancient pot. Um, see how much that sells for. And then these. We know these sell for 100. Let's open up top, and this will be the last thing we do before we, we call it for today, because I think it's been a long episode. But the first episode. episode. It's on sale! It's expired. Really? We just don't want it in that case. I'm not gonna be mad. It seems rare, so crank it up, man. We're gonna crank that number up. Tell me what you want, man. Oh yeah, seven of them for a hundred bucks each. There you go. Thank you, lady. This seems rare. So, thousand bucks each. That's probably way too much. I, I don't think I have anything that sells for a thousand bucks each yet. Oh, that's exactly what he wanted for the price that he wanted it. I think she was a happy as well. I missed out on her, um, her reaction, so no, that, that that's real, real wrong. Fine. I'm gonna go up a little high on these though. Alright, gold runes. Let's do a thousand. It's they they are gold runes. Hundred each? Let's do a hundred each. Come on. Check out my stuff. Please. If you don't like it, please tell me I'll negotiate with you. Oh. He was too happy about that. Either it's rare or I'm selling it way too cheap. But you know, that's a price I'm happy with. So, you know, we'll take it. Probably still too expensive, but not by much. I mean, dropped to be 300. Oh, happy with a thousand hundred pop. Nice. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you kindly. Don't know about this, but uh, 100 default, not bad, I think. we got we got uh, glass lenses the hundred we know a hundred sells well for those things well you're mad about that thousand look little lady I, I, I give you a deal but just just for you just for you 50% off right now we'll come check that out in a second is this good we'll do it that way it's fine oh she's happy about that check that out I just put it on the, I can gift wrap it for you if you want. Just let me know. Alright, uh, go back to about 100, a pop. And I don't know about you, but you you came in in a rare chest, so I'm gonna say two, I'm gonna say 300 for you. 200? Is that a, uh, no. Too much for that. I understand. I understand. So we're gonna move this down a little bit to about. We'll do 70. 
500 better? 500 is still not good for you. Alright, well. I'm just trying to learn about the, the prices about some of these. Kinda... I don't like cold selling, man. It's, uh... Hard to do. Because I don't know the value of these things. It's just... I mean, I'll learn the value as we actually start crafting some of these things. And, like, what are we looking for? Oh, he's looking for armor. Yeah, you, you, yeah, so well. I don't have any. Are we, will we closed? I think we closed for the night. Ooh, check out that money. 14 items sold. $6,000 made. We're getting a little bit, uh, a little bit of money, aren't we? I mean, we, we need 6000 for our first upgrade as well as parts, but not bad, I'll take it. Hey, I'll take it. No one wanted this thing at all, so, um, I'll drop it down to 50 for now. Set that up. Quick sell for that. It came out of something rare, right? I mean, that was a question mark item. We'll, we'll do 100 first, just to cover that and then yeah they bought it at 10 don't worry I'm sure you're not getting ripped off but anyway thank you everyone for joining me thanks for hanging out for more news information on what's going on on what may be check out the description below if you like what you saw want to see more like it, slap the like button bash grab and share the video um, I'm digging this so far it's kind of when I say kind of it's real challenging in the dungeon but once we get some better equipment going I feel like this is gonna be pretty fun um, I'd like to see if, if, if is it always sword and sword and board or do we get different weapons i mean i i saw a bow in there i'd like to see if we can get some magic going maybe but we'll have to see where this goes where it takes us all right i'm dust bunny from slackers and cover and i will talk to you folks later have a good one underground and to all a good night bye folks